The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. And Adafruit, every single week, Lady Data uses her powers of engineering to find the things that you need. That's right, you. On DigiKey.com, Lady Data, what is the Great Search this week? Okay, so this week, um, I'm experimenting with ultrasonic sensors. Um, I wanted to make a stemma board with a single ultrasonic transceiver on it that could be used for distance sensing. And um, so let's go to uh, the computer because I'll show you what people got and I'll show you what I want. Okay, so um, a lot of times when people think about ultrasonic distance sensors, they think of something like this. Um, it has a transmitter, it has a receiver, it sends you know, uh, a pulse out and then it gets um, the bounce back ultrasonic signal on the other one. So like usually this is, you can see here this T and then this says R, transmit, receive. And then on the back, there's a little chip. In this case, it's the RCWL. It's an off-the-shelf, all-in-one chip, um, which is great, but there are some situations where you might want um, something slightly different. One, um, you know, you're kind of stuck with whatever transceivers they picked here, so maybe the range and the cone isn't uh, what exactly you want. Um, second, um, this chip uses the you know pulse trigger technique and um that's all good and everything but um you know if you want something like i squared c uh it's gonna be you know tough to get out of this there is an i squared c mode here but it's not a great i squared c mode um so it would be really cool if we could basically do the the ultrasonic transmit receive um all on one microcontroller because there's no reason why like an everyday microcontroller uh, couldn't do that kind of sensing. And second, I do want to see if I can make it use a single transceiver. Um, it's a little bit more challenging because you have to kind of uh, flip around some pins, but you know, we, I've seen um, ultrasonic sensors that have only one transceiver like the Maxbotics and I know that they, they work quite well. Um, and we've stocked these for easily a decade. So, you know, I know it's possible. I know you don't need like the very latest technology. Like they may have an ASIC, um, I'll, I'm will i not sure, but you know, looking around, it seems like there is um, some code and examples as long as your trend, if, as long as your transmitter is okay for transceiving, um, you know, it can get out of transmit mode and start listening to signals on receive. You know, there's no real reason why you can't uh, do it with one. You know, the other, the, on the other hand, I know I have a backup, you know, if I really absolutely need to, um, I always have the, uh, this style as a backup. You know, this is like a very simple schematic on the back. You know, there's really, it's just sim like one SOIC chip. So, you know, tacking on a microcontroller to do I squared C or, um, you know, some of the conversion wouldn't be, wouldn't be too hard. You can have a little backpack that goes on this. Uh, no biggie, basically. So I always have a backup, but I thought it would be interesting to explore. Um, and, you know, I found, uh, you know, there's um, an app note here on using a PIC. Uh, in this case, uh, it does, you know, one receiver and one transmitter. But, um, again, I think that, you know, you can switch between the two uh, modes. Um, you know, here's from Kerry Wong. It says, 10 years ago, uh, an example of... Um, also using a uh, transmitter and receiver and doing it with a microcontroller, so not using a specialty chip. Uh, in this case, they just used an H bridge so they could get like a differential, a strong differential signal. Um, and then they used a, um, uh, a dual op amp uh, to do some bandpass filtering and then, uh, you know, some chunky magnification. Looks like two gain stages with uh, some filtration um, at the same time to read the signal in and um, turn it, you know, read it on an Arduino, and then they made their own um, uh, ultrasonic sensor. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, we got this working um, not too badly. And then uh, also, you know, I found uh, this cool teardown. Um, similar, there's, you know, a transmitter and then there's a receiver with a, a dual uh, gain amplifier with a little bit of filtering in it. And um, this one uses a single um, transceiver as well. So it, uh, it switches between um, transmit and receive mode. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this design isn't too impossible. Um, so what I need to find now is 
uh, go to DigiKey and find myself a transceiver, find myself this uh, 40 kilohertz ultrasonic transmitter slash receiver element um, that then I can purchase and uh, experiment with. And I know that I can, you know, get a good quality, reliable transceiver from DigiKey um, to verify my designs. Like if, if I buy something on eBay, it's like, who knows what, you know, you buy components, it's like, they say it's a transceiver, but it's not. They just took a transmitter and then like just scratched off the T or something. I don't do that. I want to get something that's like the real deal. So um, let's go to DigiKey. And um, I'm going to look for ultrasonic. And then I'll look for the, I don't know if it's, it, it's not actually called a transceiver necessarily. Um, so notice that there's a couple, if you search for ultrasonic, you can of course just get the sensors themselves. So this is like, you know, they're ready to go um, sensors. And you can see here, here's another example. This is a single um, ultrasonic you know, one trans transceiver, transmit and receive in one. I like the look of these. They're, like, they're kind of small. I feel like you can fit them in more places. Um, but there's a lot of examples of, you know, you can see here there's some um, two elements. Uh, this is short range. So maybe, you know, if you want, because there's this echo effect that occurs, uh, having two elements might be better for, for short range sensing. Um, but, uh, yeah. Could be, could be good. All right, so we got that. Um, but we don't want the full proximity sensor. What we want is uh, the raw module itself. Like the, you know, I don't want the board. I want, like, the, the this thing, the, the actual, like, black spherical component. Your tubular component. Okay, so here... Um, I got, when I got here, it's actually kind of mixed. You know, there's a bunch of ready-to-go ultrasonic sensors and um, individual elements as well. So that's something, you know, that got a little bit mixed up. So what I did here, because, you know, you can, you know, there's this parallax sensor. Now, this was made in 2010. These are, they've been making, parallax, parallax has been making ultrasonic sensors for a while. But what I want is like this. So what I ended up doing, this is unusual, but I actually filtered by manufacturer. So like I took out like Adafruit, me, because I know that we don't sell that module. And I took out Parallax because it's like they're selling the ping sensor. And I took out SparkFun and I took out Maxbotics because I, they're reselling the Maxbotics sensors. And when I did that, I actually got rid of like a lot of parts and I got to only like the individual components, which is what I want. Like I want, I want this stuff, the raw stuff. Um, so now that I've got that, now I can do my standard filtering. So I'm going to look for active and for type, um, you know, I want transmitter and receiver and I don't know what this dash is. So I'll just include it because no harm. And then, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of options. I mean, I think a lot of these are, like, DF Robot, these are modules as well. So I think I will, um, yeah, so there's, they have a bunch of, like, ultrasonic sensors. So what I'll do is I will likewise um, filter, filter out DF Robot. Okay, so now I've got 25. Okay, I actually have a shot now of being able to review these. Um, so there's not a ton, and like I, some of these are like on wires, and some of them are kind of chunky. So let's go by price, and I got a, some good options here. So it looks like there's some metal ones. All these are called transceiver, so that's really good. Um, and then I want about 40 kilohertz. And these are all about 40 kilohertz. I'll note that a lot of them, you know, they're rated for extremely high voltages. Like you're you know, you're expected to drive these at easily 10, 20 volts. So oftentimes designs will have uh, doublers, um, like voltage doublers, like a max 232 to, to get the voltage much higher. Um, where you have a little boost converter and then you use that to drive the transceiver. Um, but all these look good. And I think, you know, all of these ones up here looked pretty reasonable, the, um, the Kui ones. And um, I looked at the, I think the 18 and 15 is the diameter. So I looked at the data sheet 
and you know basically they tell you um, how far they can do ultrasonic sensing so this says 15 meters um, so that's cool and then let's look at this one this was 18 meters so it's I think there's like a trade-off it's like how sensitive versus um, the range and also how big it is so this one I think is oh I see the 18 is the 18 meters okay so 15 is 15 meters so you're gonna pay a little bit more for more range but that said um, I kind of went with the one that they had the most stock of to start just to get a couple samples of um, because I felt like this was promising and here's another thing I'm actually kind of tempted to contact uh, CUI and just say like do you have an eval board or an eval schematic um, that I can borrow take a look at because for that um, amplification filter section with the the dual op amp they might have something that they're like hey we've already tuned it for this transceiver and so we're going to know like how loud the signal is going to be or like sorry the voltage and then also um what like what resonance it's going to like being at so i'm gonna order some of these it's interesting these are kind of recent these were only made a few years ago or at least this data sheet was only made a few years ago in 2020 um but this looks like perfect otherwise it's like a, it's exactly what it should look like and it's designed to be a transmitter receiver and it you know runs at 40 kilohertz um and it's designed for distant sensing up to 18 meters so uh check it out i mean i'm gonna see if i can get this thing working um based on those online schematics and see if i can make it the cutest little transceiver in the world all right and that is the great search yay